Hello and welcome to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to cover an issue that I came across in Word when I was creating some business documents and I will show you how I was able to resolve that issue. So the issue itself was that um, I was creating some business documents and I was bringing in my logo which is like a picture and the fabulous thing now about logos and photos and graphics and all that is they are very high quality, but the downside is they are large files. So when you're adding those into a Word document, the Word document becomes a large file as well. So I'm going to show you how I was able to make those files smaller. So let's get started in Word. So here I am in the newer version of Microsoft Word. And to my knowledge, this tip will not work in the older versions of Word. What I, older versions of Word would be the .doc. Newer versions would be the .docx. I'm going to open this file and it is titled Resize the Image Test 1. And when I click on this file, you can see here that the file size at the bottom here, it's saying it's 14.1 megabytes. That's a lot. The maximum you can attach to Yahoo or Gmail is 25. So two attachments and you are maxing out. So let's get that size smaller. Here we go. Again, I am in the newer version of Microsoft Word and I'm going to open the file I just showed you. All right, I have this file open. This is my description sheet where, again, I've added my logo, which is a photograph. Uh, this will work for anything that's considered a picture, so JPEG, PNG type files. Now, if you notice here at the top, it says I'm in compatibility mode. I need to get out of compatibility mode for this to work. So if you're looking up at the top of your document and it has that, you're going to need to click on File and then Convert under Compatibility Mode. It's going to convert my Word document, which is at currently a .doc file, to a .docx file. All right, so now I can do the process. And all it is is to click on this photo hit the tab up at the top where it says picture tools and then it, over to the left it says compress pictures click on that and because i only have one photograph picture jpeg png type file in the document it's uh, already checked for all pictures in document if there were several you could do selected and just select the ones you want to compress I'm going to change the resolution and leave it under print at the resolution of 200. I could also check web and it would slim it down even more or no change at all is pointless because then you're not changing it. Uh, then you're also given the options to click to go ahead and compress the pictures or, and also delete any cropped area of the picture. I've got those both checked, hit okay. And now it's warning me, you're reducing the image quality. So do I really want to do that? Yes, I'm going to hit apply. Now I'm going to save the file under a different name to show you the difference that I've created. And I'm going to save it as number two. The test image was number one. And now when I bring it back up, uh, if I highlight that file, you can see that it's now only 9.41 megabytes, whereas before it was 14.1. So it's definitely a lot smaller. That's it. That's how you're able to use that compress feature in the newer versions of the Word program to get those huge picture or graphics, logos, et cetera, those files that are really large that you're adding into the Word document, how to get those smaller so that the, your overall business document in Word 
is a smaller file size. I hope you found this video useful. If so, I would really appreciate you clicking the like button. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and then you will get notification when a new video is published. If you'd like to keep the conversation going, you can find me over on Facebook and Twitter. I will try to include a little bit more information about this topic over on my blog. And definitely, if you are looking for transcription services, contact me. I'll have the link below and you can go find that through my website as well, bombtranscriptionservices.com. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next week.